Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. Well, the blooms are finally here. I'm gonna give you a little hint. You ready? Oh, look at the size of that thing. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's so pretty. I love it so much. Let's take a look at the hardy hibiscus and get a bloom update for 2023. I have two hardy hibiscus and in May of 2021, I transplanted this from a spot. It was early spring and the weather was beautiful, still a little bit cool and it was in the total wrong spot. I transplanted this and it never skipped a beat. This is Perfect Storm Hardy Hibiscus from Proven Winners and I'll link the video below if you'd like to watch that of when I transplanted this. But let's move in a little closer. This one started blooming about two weeks ago so it's not even reached its full potential of blooms yet but look at the size of that bloom isn't that gorgeous now we always need to keep in mind that the hardy hibiscus is a perennial it's not a shrub even though it looks like a shrub the specs on the hardy hibiscus from proven winners oh i think we have a visitor nope she moved on to the queen anne's lace the specs on the hardy hibiscus is it's hardy in zones four through nine Hardy hibiscus can also be called rose mallow. Sometimes it's called swamp mallow because you can find certain varieties and cultivars of them growing in a swamp or in a boggy area. But you can see that this one is growing here just on the side of our yard. There's, this is not boggy at all. So they can also grow in these conditions as well. Your hardy hibiscus is one of the very last perennials to break dormancy in the spring and they grow up from the ground. You do want to prune this back or prune all the dead canes back uh, in the early spring. You can do it in the autumn time, but I this year I waited until uh, springtime and it did just fine for me. I'm in zone 6b, so this perennial is very happy. You can kind of see here that it blooms up from the bottom of its bloom stalk. So in other words, the first blooms on the bottom of the branch start blooming and then it starts blooming a little higher. And then finally, you can see all the blooms getting ready to uh, will be opening at some point on this. The blooms only last for one day. They really don't make a good cut flower, although you can, as you saw, I did cut off a bloom. You can bring in a bloom for a little bit, but they only last for one day, but it continues to bloom. It's one of the, I think one of the most fascinating uh, perennials that there is for my zone because it looks very tropical, yet I'm not in a tropical area. Now, I am located in a southern state in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia, but we are in the northern part of the southern uh, United States. So this perennial does so great for me, even though we do get very cold, pretty cold winters here. The only pest pressure I've ever experienced on this hardy hibiscus is the rose sawfly larva and that's a little worm that sort of um, you can see here some evidence of the sawfly larva just making little holes until they hatch they eat on the leaves and then they hatch and fly off the other pest would be japanese beetles which we have here in our region but i had zero problem with japanese beetles this year in my garden and I think I, there's a couple of reasons. I don't do any spraying of any pesticides, but I was really diligent to work on the Japanese beetles over the last several years and uh, just pick them off of all anything that they wanted to eat on and put them in soapy water. And I've really, really decreased the population of Japanese beetles. So I'm so thankful for that. Now walking up the fence a little bit, you can see that a new one that I added last year. This one is called Holy Grail. And look at the size of that bloom. That is just fabulous. This is a deep crimson red bloom. This is just the second year that this one has been here on our property. So it's a little bit smaller, but it's gonna to top out at about four and a half feet tall. And I'm saying it's gonna get a good five feet tall just because of how things grow here in our zone. And you can see how the foliage on this Holy Grail is a bit darker than the Perfect Storm. 
As a matter of fact, the older the shrub gets, the darker the foliage will get. But those blooms are just incredible. I mean, gosh, they're so pretty. Look at the size of that. Amazing. I do fertilize my hardy hibiscus when I see the green shoots emerging in the spring. And I use Plant Tone by Espoma. It's a slow release organic fertilizer. And that's the only time I ever fertilize mine. Now you could fertilize them again mid season, but I pretty much just do the one, the one and done. I also do spread some pretty good compost around them when I see the green emerging in the spring and that helps give them a boost as well. We're getting ready or they're calling for a huge uh, storm this evening with hail and everything. So I'm nervous that these blooms are going to get all beaten up. So I wanted to get out here and share this video with you in case that happened. But I love how the when the hardy hibiscus starts blooming, I mean, summer is just in full swing at that point, And they're going to keep blooming all the way up until the first frost. So that's the 2023 update on the hardy hibiscus. I mean, one more time, just gosh, can you get enough of these blooms? Oh, they're so beautiful. And you can see the wind is picking up here. So the storm that they're calling for. Uh, I have quite a few chores to do. I have a lot of dahlias that need to be tied up and I have some corralling that needs to be done on some sunflowers. So uh, we'll be praying over this storm and praying for safety for everyone involved in this area. And if you've come across this video, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe and join us here. We'd love to have you here on our channel. Until next time, friends, happy gardening. Bye-bye. Here's a quick update after the storm. No damage whatsoever. And I'm so thankful. We had about an inch of rain in a short amount of time and really high winds. Now we did not get the hail or the, we didn't get a tornado touchdown uh, that they were calling for here. And I did not get any footage of the storm because I was outside and I actually had to run for cover. So I didn't get any footage, but I just came out to survey the, in case there was any damage. This is a couple days later, actually. But I came right out to survey everything after the storm was done. No damage whatsoever to these perennial hibiscus. So I told you how, how tough they are. And I'm just so pleased. And let's take off this bloom and pitch it. But... It took a licking and it kept on ticking, <laughs> as they say. And this Holy Grail fared beautifully as well. You can see that I didn't show in the earlier part of the video so many more blooms to come. But just so thankful that we were spared any major damage and uh, that these beautiful perennial hibiscus stood the withstood the weather